Dr. Gray Cantor here with Cantor Dental Group here in San Rafael, California. Today, I want to talk about what to expect after a wisdom tooth extraction, uh, or any extraction for that matter. Um, say you have a wisdom tooth like this one right here. It's tilted, it's impacted, um, or it has cavities on it, um, or you're getting it extracted for another reason. The most important thing to remember is to leave that area alone, or all four areas if you're getting all four wisdom teeth taken out. You want to not touch the clot. There's a clot being formed in the socket. That clot is delicate. Things that can dislodge the clot are rinsing, swishing your mouth. That can dislodge the clot. Suction, things like straws um, or uh, uh, cigarettes, especially cigarettes will delay healing. Or even small particle foods like popcorn or rice, those can get caught in the clot and can make this, the healing slower. Staying away from those things will help it heal a lot faster. So that's the number one thing to look out for. Uh, some of the things to expect are soreness. The dentist will most likely prescribe you a painkiller such as a hydrocodone, Vicodin, thing of that nature. If you don't want to take that, taking Advil and Tylenol together, if you can take it uh, and are not allergic, taking ibuprofen and acetaminophen together is a very powerful pain reliever. Uh, and, and won't give you that head change or dizziness that you sometimes get with Vicodin. The next thing to expect is there's possibly some swelling and bruising in the area. Most likely you'll see that the morning after. So you'll go to sleep at night and fluids are allowed to rush towards your head because you're laying down uh, and that'll give you swelling in the morning. What you can do is either use a couple extra pillows so your head's above your heart or in the morning just sit up Put some ice on it, the swelling will go down very quickly, not to worry about that. At our office, we also give you some ice to put on your face so you can feel better right away. The next thing to think about is bleeding. Bleeding can occur after the procedure, usually you'll be biting down on some gauze, but the dentist will give you some extra gauze to bite down on. What you can do is bite down on that, putting pressure on the wound, to stop the bleeding. If the bleeding keeps kind of just oozing out slowly, it's really easy to just put some green tea bags, little tea bags, just grab that from your, from your cupboard and bite down on that, and that'll help the bleeding stop as well. One last thing that may happen, is usually doesn't, is sometimes you'll feel little sharp edges, uh, like bony edges in your mouth. That's actually pretty normal. Usually those will work themselves away, your body will round those off, or they'll exfoliate if it's a, a, a piece of, uh, some sort of piece of fragment of something. If the edge doesn't go away and it starts to hurt or is poking something like your tongue, definitely go see your dentist right away. He or she can help you with that. Another less likely thing to happen is jaw pain. A lot of times taking out implants requires pressure on your jaw, and your jaw might be sore afterward. Again, this is something you can ice. Ice is very helpful for, um, and it should go away very shortly. If it doesn't, again, talk to your doctor about that. Other than that, wisdom teeth extraction can go very normally. I know when I got my wisdom teeth taken out, uh, I had almost no pain the next day. Uh, I was very sleepy. Hopefully that's some good information for those of you about to get your wisdom teeth taken out. If uh, you live in the area and want to get more information, please come to our office, Cantor Dental Group, in San Rafael, California, and please subscribe. Thank you.